Hello guys, welcome to Greg's Channel 1. I'm Greg, and this is Channel 1. Now, I've just watched episode 5 of season 1 of The Zoo. Now, that episode was called Blame It All on Leo. Now, you, as you'll remember from the previous episode, they were looking through the Bible by Evan Lee Hartley, and there was a name written in it, Leo Butler. Now, this episode is pretty much focused mainly on Jamie and um, Jackson finding Leo Butler. They find Leo Butler and they get as much information out of him as they can. Uh, that's the main part of the story for this episode. You've also then got Abraham, Chloe, and Mitch going off to da 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 Rio de Janeiro to sort out the bat problem. Now, in the bat, with the bats, they're killing people. They're shutting down all the power. They're doing loads of stuff that's just being destructive. Whew. Oh, I'm getting tired. Um, so with that, obviously, you know that that's where their story's going to go. Um, where they're finding out what's happened. And, that, you know, you find out that they've got a day before pesticides and poison is going to be sprayed over this entire area trying to kill the bats. Um, you have Jackson calling Chloe and Chloe talking to him and little bits and pieces there. you got Jamie, she's focused on trying to prove that it's raging global. And then she finds out loads of little information because that's what she's good at, her being a journalist. Well, a former journalist, because she no longer works for them. But yeah, <laughs> uh, finds out that Raiden Global hired a Leo Butler. Um, Mitch also finds out that Leo Butler um, was the guy that had done a particular type of work and I can't remember what it was. Um, and it goes from there. You've then obviously got them finding Leo <sighs> You've then got them finding Leo, and what happens with that? Where they're, you know, trying to get the information out of him, they're trying to find out whether he knows Robert Oz, which he doesn't, whether he knows Emily Harley, which he doesn't, and then you find out about the mother cell. Now, as you may have known, um, something that happened with Emily Hartley uh, is you notice that his eye. Um, as you may remember from the at flyer and stuff like that, the, uh, the pupil kind of splits and bursts where you've got like black from the pupil covering the lower part of the eye. Now that is something that makes him go, maybe he's also infected the same way as the animals. Great idea. And he appears to be the antagonist for this this rest of the series. And I hope he is because, you know, he's really, I don't know, he's got a real darkness about him, yet there's almost a vulnerability in his darkness. I don't quite know how to explain it other than there's almost like a vulnerability in the darkness of the fact that he's being almost like a villain. Um, what else happened? Obviously, uh, there, you've then got another part of the story about um, a girl called Clementine and her pet dog, Henry, and her stepfather and her mum. Her stepfather's called Justin, her mum, whose name I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, and you've got them and their story, which is um, dog goes out one day Later on in the episode, gets hit by a car. She's suffering from seizures, so the dog saves her in, earlier on in the episode. 
later on, the dog gets hit and they realise they can't afford to pay for her therapy and the dog's um, vet bills. So you're there going, oh God, you know, are they going to write that the kid's going to die? Then you see medication, Raiden Global. Now from uh, the little segment you get with Leo, Jackson and Jamie and the agent, special agent Ben Schaefer who's somehow joined them for now. Uh, I don't care, don't like him, boring. But um, he seems to have joined them and he's being all, I'm an official, rah, 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 rah. which, meh, whatever. <laughs> Um, they managed to get out of him about the mother cell, which is a cell which causes animals to lose it, to start going, they start regressing on their normal behaviour, and they stop fearing the humans. Something that Mitch points out in this episode, which I thought was interesting, is every, um, with the food chain, you've got like a five point, um, a, a a grade of one to five, you know, the apex predators, you know, your lions and stuff like that are fives. Humans only come out as 2.2. Do you know why they have act? And then he says, the reason why the things that give us the ability to act like fives are our technology and our ability to reason. That's it. And you'll go, oh. So we are becoming the prey now, which is pretty awesome. I like, I like, the, I like what where he was going with this, and I like the way that this seems to be the way that it's going. Um, so going from that onwards, uh, it goes back to uh, Jackson and Jamie and Schaefer and Leo. Leo, I quite like. You know, he's he's got a strangeness, strange quirkiness about him. Um, and uh, Schaefer decides he's going to track. Um, he's going to track uh, Leo because he doesn't trust Leo. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Um, and they, Jamie and Leo, go off to go get the mother cell. And you know, Leo initially feels quite you know relieved of the mother cell. Then he notices his phone is being tracked. And he looks down. And it's, I never had my GPS on. You and your friends have betrayed me. You're tracking me. This is not good. Why are you doing this? And he's, he's driving a car. And he's, you know, he's not paying attention to, to the road. And boom. Car topples. And you see them kind of passing out. Jamie opens her eyes. And who walks over? Evan Lee Hartley. So he's still around. And he's still kind of the villain of the story. Which I like. Although Raiden seems to be picking itself up as a bit more of a bigger villain. After Hartley's gone. If Hartley's going to go anytime soon, which I hope not, but we'll get there. Um, unless it's done well. If it's done well, then done well. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, but Emily Hartley then comes over, reaches in, takes the mother cell, and leaves. Jamie passes out, and then it cuts back to the family where the little girl is trying to sell some, you know, she's got lots of her stuff together. So I'm going to sell this, you know, so then you can help pay for the bill, you know, pay for the dog's bills, pay for my bills, la 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 la. Uh, dog comes back, um, and she's got a picture. And I'm guessing, and you're initially guessing that it's about the father. And the mother is looking at it and going, I forgot I had this picture. And then you see them put the picture down. Camera turns. And you see who is in the picture. It's Dr. Mitch Morgan. And your his daughter, 
is dying. And your legs just go, oh my days. And that's how it felt. And they cut at that. And it was a very, very good episode. I was quite impressed. It was better than the previous episode, which was only a 3.7. This, 4.1. I was very impressed. It was a, it was an improvement on the last episode, which had slipped a little from the episode before, but it was still pretty good. This was good. I enjoyed it, and makes me want to watch number five. Uh, no, not number five. But makes me want to watch number six, which is called. This is what it sounds like. So, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe there. Or subscribe there. If you want to, you know, leave your opinions on the episode, put your opinions down here in the comment section below. Nothing else to say. Cheers. Chocolate milk. Nothing like it.